Hey folks, <laughs> uh, uh, don't do politics here, but we dance the Harris Waltz. Uh, uh, it's T Tuesday. It's a, uh, another update in the T Two Tile project. Uh, this once again is my modified uh, what I'm going to use for a, a title card, and it worked pretty well once I added the magic ingredient. Uh, uh, so we'll see. Uh, uh, it seems to me that YouTube is so gigantic that even if I have very similar title cards, uh, that I'm getting so few impressions that I probably get a whole bunch of different people, right? Maybe. All right, so let's get into it. Uh, we're going to start, uh, as we often do today, with catching up on uh, BV. <laughs> After a job was done, BV would just knock around the grid thinking about stuff and making sure everything was still shipshape. Sometimes uh, another run started quickly, but sometimes there was a lot of time to waste, and BV got to wondering what happened between runs, and that led to thoughts about where BV even came from to begin with. So BV asked Seneca, the summer intern, where do I come from? How was I made? And Seneca said, well, BV, you're very lucky because we know exactly what you're made of. Your beautiful body is a box and your wheels are cylinders. And no, no, that's not what I meant, interrupted BV. I mean, where do I come from? Not my body, my me. Like, what's happening before I fall onto the grid? Where am I then? Asked BV. And Seneca said, oh, you're talking about your brain, not your body. Well, I can show you an example. You could never see this happening live, but this is your brain assembling itself. We start by introducing a single tiny atom, a BV brain seed, into a whole wall of computers. And that seed is like a tiny brain sponge that puffs up to full size, asked BV. Oh no, said Seneca, there won't be anything really like your brain for a long time yet. First, the seed spreads out to measure the computer grid where it was planted, to find the best place for your brain to develop. Ooh, said BV, smart. When that's done, all the measurement scaffolding is torn down, leaving just the central core where your brain and body will connect together. Cool, said BV. And then, once it's ready, in the center of that core hot box... Your brain develops quickly, blooming like a flower. Just like your brain? asked BV. Oh, your brain develops much faster than mine did, said Seneca. All right, said BV. And once the hotbox is configured and signals start flowing between your brain and your body, well, you know the rest, said Seneca. That's when I'm me, said BV. Right, said Seneca. Hey, wait a minute, said BV. What's this little yellow box here? It looks like a me. What is that? That's what I was going to tell you, said Seneca. You've got some new hardware in your body. But I don't feel any new hardware in my body, said BV. Well, that's because it's not all hooked up yet, said Seneca. Well, hook me up, said BV. Yeah, it's not that simple, said Seneca. There's no more room in the hot box, so the engineers have to start working around it. But so far, there's no way to connect those higher brain functions into the core. What good is hardware if I can't use it? asked BV. Soon, BV, soon, said Seneca. Okay, so we'll, uh, we'll hear a little more from BV and a little more in that same demo in a couple of minutes. Uh, the goals for today were to get this essay that uh, Lou Wilson and I have been working on, uh, revisions submitted, uh, and we have done that. Uh, the main goal for BV was to recall a sequence, make a series of steps, do something that wasn't just reacting to the outside world, and we failed big time <laughs> uh, on that. But you know, once again, did a ton of work, a ton of work that I think needs to be done. So okay, and 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 have have big fun. Uh, eh, once again, did okay. So uh, I want to talk. Well, I want to talk a little bit about community stuff. I usually leave it to the end, but I want to talk about it first so that I I don't miss it. Uh, and then talk about mind expansion. Uh, that's going to be the title of of this. Uh, uh, 
update, I think. And that's it. So just very simple. Uh, um, so as I mentioned, uh, Lou and I have been working on this essay, uh, Dialogues on Natural Code. And uh, last month, uh, we had gotten the news that it was conditionally accepted, that one of the reviewers didn't really like it very much, and we needed to make some changes. So we made a bunch of changes. And it was a little bit difficult to kind of break into it because it's a conversation, you know, and so it's even though we had edited the conversation it was it you know sort of once it had gone out in the world it kind of felt like it was set in stone but eventually uh, uh we figured out uh -huh, well we could add more conversation <laughs> rather than necessarily changing all the other conversation and we rearranged things it, it got two pages bigger which is legal according to the rules of this particular workshop but uh I think overall it's much better, and I think, you know, not to jinx it, uh, we'll find out in two days, I believe, whether it's finally accepted. I think our odds are good. So, community. Uh, again, I used to say education and outreach, but now it's like, no, that's not what it's about. It's about trying to find interested folks, trying to find uh, new perspectives, trying to find stuff that fits together, complementary ways, and so forth, like uh, the paper that Lou and I are doing, uh, uh, for example. And, uh, you know, so I've got all these different things going on, right? We've got the T2 Tile Project. That's what we're doing here. We've got the Hyperspace Academy, which has been over on the Dave Ackley channel for mm, 10 years. <laughs> Uh, uh, that is contributing the idea of the self-image. Uh, um, and we've got the Living Computation Foundation, which is an actual, official, existing tax, uh, you know, nonprofit, tax exempt. You can donate five dollars and get your own nerd number. Do it now, uh, um, and so forth. And you know, in my head, these all connect in my in my head because you know i've only got one head and i'm a big unifier right uh, uh so it's hard for me to keep these things teased apart uh, uh but what i want to say is you know number one thank you to everybody who watches some of the videos uh likes or subscribes or comments uh, uh mentions it to a friend in a rental car whatever all of that i help i think it helps i mean we are the tiny rebel alliance here you know we're, we're still at the hundreds of views level on these stuff over on the dave ackley channel look at some videos that are up at the thousands of views but uh, uh, you know it's this particular thing going for the new stuff the stuff that i think is important that uh has kind of just been sitting there for decades really uh, um and and not getting the attention uh that it needs to get we're giving it more attention. And, you know, people want to know how to help. I mean, every so often, I mean, sometimes people even like send uh, a resume uh, and they're, you know, looking to volunteer and, you know, you know, oh my gosh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I can't really be a manager uh, at this time, you know, because I, I was never all that good at it when I did it in uh, academia. And, you know, my, my plate is kind of full. So uh, I need folks that, that, are, are, are being interested in are, are running on parallel tracks and, and we can uh, run along a bit with it. Certainly, uh, if anybody is is in, you know, the programmer end of things and, and can actually get in and, and hack uh, ULAM code, the specific language for the mobile feast machine, mm, that's super wonderful. But, you know, even folks who are doing what I consider to be modern cellular automata, you know, that's great too. Modern meaning asynchronous. Uh, I, I, I call it acid because <laughs> uh, Lou uh, talked about what he was doing as game of life on acid, which is is not a bad way to look at it because a lot of people know about game of life, but it's very knit, very buttoned down, very deterministic, and so forth. And finally, mainly the thing that is the most helpful is if you get it say it. If you if you get the ideas, if you get what we're trying to do, if you get even corners of it, say it to other folks in your own words. And that will improve the robustness and the 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 depth of uh machine implementations that we have because everybody's going to see it slightly differently and we build it that way. So again, I just wanted to say thanks. Uh, uh, okay, mind expansion. Uh, uh, as a reminder, the goal for the rest of the year, which is going fast, there's only four more 
four months and we're taking one off. Uh, uh, in 2024, implement all four self-image processes on the T2 matrix with the result that BV has improved abilities. And so once again, uh, this was also from last time, the self-image has, you know, input, output, it has sequential processing. I can't really go around there because of mirror image. And it's got uh, judgment, judgment good, judgment bad, uh, um, input, output, sequence, and judge like that. And the goal for this time was to do sequencing so that even if the uh, world didn't change at all, BB could do different things. Now, BB already has the ability to do that, but it's fundamentally just based on random numbers and counting. Uh, I was hoping that there were we could get to some sequence that was a little bit more informed, but didn't get to it because, uh, uh, you know, we had this issue a couple, uh, I don't, can't spend too much time here, uh, uh, that, you know, the, in the very center tile uh, the, of this thing, which, you know, in, in the indefinite scalability, there is no center tile. But in this case where we have a spine, a cable that's connecting to the, a particular spot on the grid, that breaks the symmetry. So the signals that go in and out of that cable are the signals that go in and out of that spine. And we have to just deal with that. Uh, um, and, you know, so we have a crossbar right there that does a bunch of stuff and, and that, you know, solves the, the task the basic task that EV is posed pretty well. But if we're going to do bigger things, sequence, judgment, all that kind of stuff, we need much more real estate. And that means we need not just intra crossbar from inputs to outputs, but inter crossbar design. Uh, uh, let's take a look at uh, another little bit of BV and then talk about it. Well, of course, BV wanted to know what the new yellow BV window was about, and Seneca explained that there were four new grid darkness sensors, one in each corner of BV's body. But I don't see these sensors, said BV. That's because they're on the bottom of your body looking down, said Seneca. I used to be able to see my bottom, said BV. Now, that was a long time ago, said Seneca. So, how come I can't use my new sensors, asked BV. Well, that's a little involved, said Seneca. Maybe we need a developer to explain. Ooh, said BV. Hmm. So the developer insisted on speaking to Seneca, but BV got to listen in. So, said the developer, the new gray sensors are wired into BV's brain. You can see them just to the left of the hotbox. Here, I've highlighted them for you, okay? The problem is that there was no way for that outboard crossbar to communicate with the main crossbar in the hotbox. The architect was spending weeks doing who knows what, so we just went ahead and repurposed the swap worms from the last quarter attempts and made them into axons that carry signals. So now we have a point-to-point -point signal carrying mechanism, but we have this second problem. How do we get the axons to grow between signals, signal sources and destinations? Because they might be quite far apart. And what we did was we invented flood find, which spreads in all directions out to a limit until it finds its target. And then it dies back to just a single path, usually a pretty direct one, and then the axon follows that path to hook up. And it works great. And soon, not yet, we're going to make BV be able to take advantage of the new gray sensors. So that's it. So we have a, a method. I mean, it's kind of hacky, but I actually really sort of like that. I really like the swap worms before. Uh, uh, these axons to carry signals and arbitrary things and this flood find... <laughs> Uh, which is fun to watch. Uh, my belief is, is that they will allow us to do uh, what I was trying to do this time. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, the challenge uh, for next time, September, oh, uh, onward essay accepted. <laughs> and uh, the beautiful uh, aspect of that is that I have nothing to do with that now. We've We've, we've sent it in. We'll find out before we get uh, to visit again. Uh, and the main goal is that BV localizes itself, that it actually figures out where it is relative to the edges of the grid and does something with that information. We shall see. Uh, and that is it. Thanks so much for stopping in. <laughs>